everyone. Today's video is about what is re-engagement in math by your Sunnyvale School District Math Tosas. Today we're going to answer these three questions. What is re-engagement? How do I do it as a teacher? And more importantly, why is this an important, often undone step? We know that students start and come to our classrooms with different starting points, strengths, and needs. And our goal is to meet them where they are and bridge them to where they should be at grade level. We also know that students are much more than a score, especially during report card time. We see that the score is just one piece, but really it's the comments. It's about unpacking their student thinking. What do they know? What are their strengths? What are their next steps? So how do we do this? By now you should be familiar with the SVMI formative assessment cycle. You've probably already used a rich task, low floor, high ceiling like Mars, anticipated student strengths, maybe planned how you would do it, small group, whole group, and considered the launch. You've also probably started to analyze your student work, sorting it into different stacks, maybe starting with just the ones that got it right and the ones that didn't. But then from there, you can fine tune those sorting. From the strengths, looking at the different strategies students did that were successful. From the ones that needed a little bit of revisiting, what were some just common errors, things that could be corrected if checked? Were there common misconceptions? Or maybe some productive beginnings that need a little bit of a next step? So now what? What do you do with all this information? So that brings us to re-engagement. Re-engagement is revisiting a lesson or concept using actual student work samples as the vehicle for further exploration. So what's different about re-engagement versus just reteaching? In reteaching, we often just go back and teach the unit again, often addressing the missing skills, while re-engagement is revisiting student thinking. In reteaching, it's usually more about similar problems, often procedures, and more practice, while re-engagement is that problem solving and looking at something from different perspectives. And finally, reteaching is typically done in small groups where re-engagement is a way to talk about these misconceptions and strengths um, in a whole class setting. And our goal is really to re-engage in order to um, bring up the cognitive load. So let's think about literacy. In a writer's workshop model, as a teacher, you're going to be walking around and conferring with students. But instead of conferring with every individual student need, if you see a majority of the students needing something, you make that tomorrow's mini lesson. Referring to anchor mentor texts, you might um, give students an opportunity to revise their thinking. But in math, we don't always give them that chance. So this is why we use re-engagement. In this example of compare and connect, we would pick two student successful work pieces that use different strategies, letting students be the math detectives to see what's similar, what's different, making connections. In an error analysis, we might pick a piece of student work and have them notice and wonder, what did this student do? What might they do differently next time? Sort of like a puzzled penguin. But most importantly, it gives you the control as the teacher to take back the baton. You get to select the student work and you know where you want them to head because you have the target in mind. So wrapping up, we know that students come from different starting places, often in points of misconceptions or misunderstandings, but we can bridge them using re-engagement to allow for sense-making and ahas. Next, by zooming in on a particular piece of student work in a specific area, we're able to amplify student voices that may not have been confident raising their hand or contributing in the classroom in the same way, giving them a chance to see that everyone is capable of being a math learner and sharing their thinking. And finally, we get to practice what we preach. We say we believe in growth mindset, but how many times have we really given students opportunities to revise and revisit their thinking in math? And allows, this allows them to build resilience and see that they are capable of a lot and perseverance. So thank you for watching. That was the why and the how and the what, but please go deeper with the slide deck on formative assessments, 
um, using our math website or join us for Zoom office hours. Thanks.